path to public service is often very meandering you know for young people when they come to our school they think about their career choices and they think it's a linear path and then we talk to people who've been maybe doing public service in a state agency or in a community nonprofit and they say we want to be more we want to be more strategic or we want to understand the system better we want to understand why things don't work the way we think they should work we also encounter people who are sector switchers who've been working in a place that isn't about the kind of public leadership you just heard about but actually are people who want to build those skills the knowledge of how governments philanthropy nonprofits work together so I feel so fundamentally that the Evans school has a fundamental role to play in helping people in various parts of the, their lives really feel and connected to that pathway to public service and each person who comes to our door I really think has an exponential impact on our communities as you've just heard from these three people so one of the ways we do this is when when I came from Minnesota, we run a seven-week summer institute for people who are between their junior and their senior year of college. And it is targeting young people who are underrepresented in many public policy arenas. Um, and they come to the University of Washington expense-free. They get to stay in the dorms. They get a stipend because they're not able to do internships or other kinds of things like that. Um, and our amazing leaders of this program, Professor Karen Martin and Program Manager Amen Sagai, expose these scholars to the working of the system, right? And they're 21. And we get them hooked on policy the way we do it in the Pacific Northwest through field trips, through engagement with some of you in the audience uh, at places like Microsoft and the Gates Foundation and small community nonprofits. They have a mentoring program as well. They engage in coursework. They get to be economics geeks and statistics geeks, as well as learning about uh, community nonprofits. And when they get done with this program after seven weeks, they get to have access to a scholarship pool that enables them to go to the best public policy programs in the country. So why I'm proud of this, and I'm going to show you a little video in just a second, is that it really fosters among them a sense of belonging. And there are people in the room who are alumni of this program. It's called the Public Policy and International Affairs Program, PPIA. Um, and I feel just so clearly that given the assets of our school, it's really important that we invest in this new next generation. So we have a video from this last summer's program because we wanted to bring some of those voices into the room. Someone from the Office of Merit Scholarships and Fellowship Awards reached out to me and I had worked with her a bit during my application process to UW. And so I got to share my story with her, my passion for policy and helping immigrant and refugee communities in Seattle. And she remembered me down the line, knew about JSI, knew about Amen, and just connected us. And so I went through the process and here I am today. I think for me, it was really important that my syllabus reflected kind of like who I am as a person, as a scholar, as someone in the policy and PA field. And so although I taught a leadership and community engagement class, there was a heavy emphasis on social equity throughout my course, a heavy emphasis on the students kind of leading the course and deciding what we talked about and where we would kind of like pivot as needed. And it was just important for me to recreate a classroom that I think reflected the classrooms I wish that I had more of. One of my favorite experiences within the program this summer has honestly been the classes and the panels. I think being able to be in the classroom with people who are doing work in community but are also extremely interested in just public policy or in government and politics is amazing. I very distinctly remember one of the panels moderated by Dean Jody, and we had a couple of experts who had worked on paid family and medical leave of absence. And it struck me because my family used PFMLA. My father, he was diagnosed with cancer a couple of years ago and has unfortunately passed. But as we were reaching the end, 
PFMLA was extremely helpful for us. My brother got to take some time off to drive him to his last chemo appointments or to stay with us. My mother got to get off of her work that was extremely grueling and tiring to stay with my father and stay with my family. And it was just a moment of realizing that public policy, that the work that we do affects not just lives in general, but it affects mine too. And to know that eventually I could be one of those people on those panels working on these policies was just a really, it was a really important moment for me at that time. It's really important for me to contribute to JSI and be a part of it because I think that the JSI program is a genuine reflection of what the Evans School wants to be and is working towards being. I think having um, impactful programming and just doing things that truly reflect our values, whether that is wanting to make change in the world, whether that is a commitment to anti-racist uplifting, whether that's a commitment to addressing issues of equity in the world. And so I think that also then means it's a true reflection of what I say my own values are to take the time and the space to be a part of it. This program has definitely expanded my horizons and I was able to see myself in different careers or in different positions other than just being a lawyer. I think this one of the most valuable parts of this program is that it shows me that there is something more because public policy, law, and all of that, it seems that there's this huge barrier, especially for students of certain identities, students of certain backgrounds. But this program in the Evans School has really showed me, showed my cohort, that there is room for us, that our voices and stories and skills are needed in these spaces too.